uh, to after stream plays. Um, decided I'm going to give this demonologist a go. Uh, just because, you know, a lot of people of my on my friends list and Twitch things have been playing it. Uh, some people have then been asked me to do a, a review of it. Now, I can only play the demo version at the moment because, well, broke. Sorry. So, I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I'm still dealing with the settings. I've only just loaded the game. Okay. So, I'm going to turn the FPS down to 30, I think. Let's see if we can keep it quite happy. Um, as I understand it, it's mimicked on real life ghost hunting, but with a twist. The ghosts are trying to kill you, and you've got to try and work out what the ghost is, who the ghost is, and exercise it before it does that. So, uh, right, so I need to find an EMF. I need to make my de demonologist now. My team. I don't have a team at the moment, unfortunately. Back to safe house. You are going to the safe house. You should, yes, confirm. I need to go to a safe house to make me. Oh, this is the safe house. Okay. Let's get in there. Kick. Settings. Team. So that's all right. Can I play this with a controller? Is it controller compatible? Doesn't look like it. So, I'm definitely going to be clumsy. So what were the controls? How do I grab hold of things? No, not, not safe house. Controls. So, settings. Supply. Interface on which is English. Audio. I think we can do with taking the music down. We don't want uh, issues with YouTube while I'm away. Uh, let's test my microphone. Can it hear me? Yeah, that's good, right? So the microphone can hear me. Um, got a few input devices it's probably going to want me to use. If it doesn't freeze up. Right, so I've got the Corsair headset. I think we'll stick with the Vio phone. Settings, graphics, audio. I don't particularly like push to talk. So we'll have that off. Incoming volume. I need that down just a little bit. My mic volume definitely needs to be down a little bit. Okay, so master volume's fine, head volume's fine. So video, graphics. Of performance. It's high, high, high. high. Um, I don't actually like motion blur, so we'll take that off. Graphics, gameplay, audio, control. So, that's sensitivity on. Oh, that's off, forward. B, backwards, S, D. Interaction button. F. G. Sprint. Ah. Oh. Tool interaction. All. X. I want them all within reach. Drop tool. Z. Push to talk. Put that as H. Uh, 
So tool interaction is X. Okay, so definitely looking like my computer doesn't particularly like the demo. Um, This is the safe house, I'm assuming, where we live. So it looks like an exorcist's house in the worst possible slums of the West that you could live in. So we're talking somewhere in America then. Right, here we go. So, multiplayer. Customize my character. Uh, head. Be nice if it stayed signed, uh, zoomed in. So appearance. As strange as it tends to be. Alright, so we'll have black hair. First of course we need hair. Ooh, very Lara Crofty. I think what my hair is usually like when it's long. Go with I think definitely don't have a beard, so we're not having a beard. Skin colour. So I can only be shades of those? Okay. Uh, that needs more customization, I think. Wardrobe. Head. None. Upper body. Lower body. So now we're going to have a look at the upper body stuff. Now, to be honest, that needs to be able to change colour because I do actually dress a lot in stuff like that. But my jacket or vest is usually black. In case you hadn't noticed by now, folks, I like my dark colours. I can blend into the shadows and just disappear. So we'll save that. That's me. Uh, 
Not to play. As your sanity decreases, the ghost will become more aggressive and more likely to go into hunting mode. You can protect your sanity by standing under the lights or you can take sanity pills. <laughs> so in short, I can take hallucinogenics or stand under a light and pretend I'm safe. Okay. The ghost leaves electric ma electromagnetic field. Okay. EMF. Yeah. I do remember using those ghost hunting on some objects that it interacts with. No, no, no. Okay. Sorry. That that's, that's wrong. Uh, the EMF field is actually the energy of the spirit as it passes by it. It's not left on objects. Um, certain objects like cables and wires and electronics, for example, have an EMF field. Living beings have an EMF field. It's believed strongly in the ghost hunting community that the EMF field of a ghost is similar to that of a living person, just cold, dead, and electrified instead. Um, you can detect these. In it. All right, so. Some ghost types show themselves on the ESG by reacting to the energy produced by the ESG. You can use this to detect the type of ghost. Ah, this is one of the newer gadgets that you see on things like um, Zach's freak show for ghosts, in a sense, because he's more about entertainment than actual ghost hunting. All right, you can use the flashlight as a source in a dark place. Usually it's used for just tripping, making sure we don't trip over things. Some types of ghosts can interact with this canvas. Uh, these are usually known as poltergeists. <laughs> Ghosts reflect images from the dimension in which on the canvas. You can use this to detect the type of ghost. Usually it's used to see if the ghost is an artist or if it wants to draw itself through a psychic artist. Um, some types of ghosts leave ectoplasm stains in the places where they reside. These stains can be viewed with an ectoplasm glass? Okay. I believe we just call that a magnifying glass. <laughs> and um, ectoplasm is more of a mist than weird stains on the wall. You can talk to ghosts by using the spirit box. Oh my god, this is possibly the most annoying invention ever. Because it goes... It's annoying. <laughs> I'm sure ghosts find it annoying too. You can talk with them. What's your name to the ghost? Some types of ghosts will respond to the, your conversation. Yes, this is called ele electronic voice phenomena. EVP. Some types of ghosts leave fingerprints. N yes, actually this is a thing. Fingerprints on door handles and light switches. They can do it on glass as well. I think that's possibly the most creepy is, is glass and mirrors. These fingerprints can be used under a UV light. You don't really need a UV light, just some steam. Uh, okay, so if a ghost ha ha haunts you, you can protect yourself by holding a cross to expel the ghost. Okay, I think we've stolen that straight out of the Catholic book of exorcism. Not all ghosts are bothered by the cross. If they were religious in life, maybe they will. If they're a ghost manifest out of someone's religious fear, maybe they will. If it's a, what we perceive as a demon that is propelled and created again by someone's religious state of mind, it might. But if you come across, say, just for argument's sake, a pagan one, nah. It's not going to be bothered. It's going to go, oh, it's a wooden cross. What's that about? Not really interested. A thermometer can be used to detect temperature changes in the environment caused by a ghost's present. Yes, actually, this is common among ghost hunters because they can make rooms very, very cold or in very rare cases, quite hot. When your sanity is declining, you can slightly improve your sanity by consuming sanity pills. Yeah, I think I found that one weird. 
If you have low sanity, ghosts will be more inclined to haunt you. I think the term is possess or hunt. When you are near a candle, you lose your sanity more slowly. Ghosts do not like candlelight. Ah, wrong. In fact, in a lot of seances that ghost hunters do, candles are pretty much the center point. We ask them to interact with it. You can remotely monitor the paranormal events caused by the ghost by placing a camera in the haunted places of the ghost. Yes, these are called lock-offs. We tend to put them where we're told the uh, rooms have the most activity and generally the aim is to either catch ghost hunters as they're walking through and see if they're being followed by the ghost or if it causes interaction with the ghost or to keep a room completely locked off and no human interaction at all in there to see if the ghost does things on its own, usually with things like trigger objects like balls, candles, the canvas thing. You can use your camera to take pictures. Yes, it's believed that ghosts interact more in stills. And that seems to be it. Okay. So, basically, it's virtual ghost hunting with a twist, then. And maybe some slight wrong information based on hearsay of, of people not really knowing what they're getting into. So I'm going to do the single player on at the moment, because I have no friends online. They all have work lives right now. Uh, Demonolish Windows. Windows Defender Firewall has blocked this feature. And the app. Private networks such as my home. Allow access. I pr was pretty sure I turned Windows Defender off, but okay. So Windows Defender's causing problems now. Thanks. Right. So we've made our person. We need to leave this. I'm level one. I'm probably going to die horribly. It's not letting me go to shop yet. Okay. So we need to go to single player. Oh, I hate my hay fever. So apparently I'm a demonologist. The term is actually ghost hunter or paranormal investigator. Demonologists are uh, like a low level exorcist. And don't belong to the Catholic Church either. Right, so. Ready. Let's go start and see how well I do. I'm expecting to die miserably or something because, you know, first time playing it. So you are experiencing this first time play with me. Voting for map has started. Well, I don't really know any of the maps, so it doesn't really bother me. Vote for the map before starting. Which map? How do you vote for the map? Chris. Yeah, we don't want hard. I, I'm, I'm nowhere near ready for hard. We're still learning the game after all. So how do we? Start. Okay, so we need to go back to main menu then, obviously. Back. Not what I wanted to click. Kirosha House, so a temple, a hospital, or abandoned house. I think we'll go abandoned house first. See if it'll let me start now.
just going to load up this call in the background because I've got some stuff I need to be doing. Because for the next five days or so I'm going to have to put my life on hold. Okay, so... Again, catch up with what we're doing. So what are my missions? Detect the type of ghost. Use the tool so it's literally just work out who the ghost is. Cam one. My sanity level. I can tell you now it's this pot ninety nine percent. Okay, so I'm in here and we're already at 99%, so. What's that thing? Is that the spirit box? There's my flashlight. Where are the lock-offs? Do I have any lock-offs here? Oh dear. So that's all my repair stuff. So this, I'm assuming, is supposed to be our base camp. So I can have three things at a time. Oh wow, um, that's kind of ominous. Don't really see that in a haunted house, usually. Not unless you've stumbled into a murder scene. Some more tools. It looks like an army base or something. It is, although my game's not playing very well, so how's my sanity doing? I'm back to 100%, so we're good. Right. Oh, I know what this is with the UV on it. I don't really have many tools, so I'm probably going to die and not be able to identify this ghost. So, here we go. It's probably going to jump me now. That's what ghosts love to do in these games, after all. Jump in. Hey, seriously, look, 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 look. that's what you come into. It's supposed to be an abandoned house and there's a skull and gore. No ghost investigation I've ever been on. So we can't go up there because we've got our thing on. I didn't mean to drop it. Torch. 
Oh, that's that's not creepy at all. Um, hmm. So we'll drop that there. It can do its thing, and I can go pick up my lantern again. Go put this back in the tent. Really? Okay. I can. You didn't see that earlier. Upside down crosses. Really? Honestly. Person, is it? This person clearly doesn't like religion of any sort. I do wish I could walk a bit quicker than I am. I mean, seriously. Drop it? Yes, right, good. So, who are you? Who are you? I think you're talking to it. Does it even pick my voice up? Right, so we're going to have a look at how to actually play this. Because this is not going well. I mean, I'm walking around at snail's pace. I mean, if this thing does decide to hunt me, it's, you know, I'm doomed from the offset. So. Point down the base of this. Which is a good idea, isn't it? My sanity is at 93%. Really? Just 93%? And Cam 1 is apparently near the tent. Why would I have Cam 1 near the tent? Uh, generally we use a more up-to-date laptop than that. That's, that's very 1970s. So someone must have watched a particular movie recently. So back to safe house. You will lose the loadout of all your pro- yes. I need to work out exactly how to do this. I can see why this would be best played with friends. have enough money I don't even have any money for the basic things I and mean, come on
So I'm just going to load the thing in the background a minute. So I've realised now that you don't have the actual sound of the game, so I need to add that. It. Yeah. They're either playing Evil or Fortnite now. I understand why people are playing Fortnite because as I speak there's a thing going on for the Fortnite tournament today. Uh, so yeah, nobody on my list. And of course, everyone in the UK is, you know, has to, as it is a Wednesday afternoon. So we're going to have to try and work this out and probably die in the. No, I don't want to put the game. I wanted to leave this. Probably die in the process of trying to work this out. I just wish I could run a bit faster. I mean, I'm literally crawling around. It's as fast as I can move now. And I, apparently, I get puffed up doing that. In my own safe house, there is a chopped off finger in my sink. Really? I'm starting to think these ghosts might be justified. I don't really want to hide the lobby, I don't want to make it private really either. Players for language. I'm going to have to say English just so I can understand who I'm with. So I'll leave the multiplayer lobby for now.
go back to single player and see if we can work this out. Okay, so map. I can only pick the abandoned house. Like. I hate hay fever. Now we need a flash flashlight. Definitely need the voice box. And that's a noisy cricket. version of me is even more unfit than I am. I picked up more than that. Apparently the camera's here, so we'll look at this. So I'm guessing this is supposed to be my snazzy 1970s house. Okay. Car, sorry. Okay. Exactly, have I got? So I've got this, that's number three. Number two is my voice box. And that's my flashlight. Right, so we're going to take that into the house now. That square, that, sorry, that L shaped flashlight you can actually pin to your shirt. That's the point of them. This, this house feels sounds more creepy than probably ghosts. It sounds like it might fall apart at any given time now. <sighs> oh my goodness, come on. I mean, I know I'm personally not fit, but I'm not this unfit. I'm going to get this thing. stand underneath an invisible light. Okay, 
guess we'll leave that there. Let's go back and get another tool. And I do have to keep in mind that this is a demo. So uh, I can see room for improvements. One of them is the running system. While in the field, the main thing we need to protect is our sanity. Most paranormal activity will have a severe impact on your mental state, plunging you into the depths of insanity. Ghosts prey on the mind. They can sense your fear and will do anything to tear the... anything in their power to weaken you so they can feed on your life force. That's Banshees. It's in your best interest to remain in well-lit areas to maintain your sanity. We'd also strongly advise to avoid prolonged exposure to paranormal activities as this has a devastating effect on your sanity. Well, yeah, you'd be terrified. I know what you're thinking, but boss, don't we need to find the ghost and figure out what type of evidence it leaves? You do. But it's all about balance, Rookie. Don't call me a rookie. Right. That's why we've teamed up with some of the top... Par uh? The term is paranormal investigators and parapsychologists to develop the strong, fast-acting Ben... Z oh my goodness. So in other words, you've come up with some pharmaceutical companies to come up with a happy pill. We're calling it the antipsychotic. No, it's we're just going to call it the happy pill. Into a state of psychosis. <laughs> Great. So it's the happy pill. It's it's best known as Prozac or um oh let me see. Hang on. Antidepressants. Remember you can monitor your sanity from the command tent. If your sanity drops too much, you run out run out of pills. It is in your best interests to leave the place so you don't lose your life and more importantly, your equipment. <laughs> oh charming! This is sounding like Zerka from Star Wars. Right. EMF level five. Science since the early ages, people have attributed swarms of insects to be related to some type of evil magic or curse. Cockroaches, in particular, are known to be sensitive to electromagnetic fields. That's because they use it to communicate. This social cockroach in the EMF detector will help you when you are using them. As in some ghosts release electric, electromagnetic fields when they interact with objects. No, all ghosts release electromagnetic fields. If you find measurements that reach level 5, Write it down in your journal because you've just found a solid evidence of a ghost. Oh dear. This is going to drive my actual paranormal investigator side of me completely bonkers, isn't it? I'm going to go insane playing the game. Spirit box. Some people just never shut up. Like spirit boxes. When, when they die. Thankfully, you've got a tool that helps them to help us. When you use me metaphysical intelligences, pr uh, perpetually spirit radio, oh my god. This person loves tongue twisters. Then you ask about perpetually chatty ghosts a question. It should respond to you through the device. So how do we ask it questions? Do we talk to the box or what? 
If it does, make sure to mark down that in your journal. So I, I'm also quite curious as to how to mark it down in your journal. Freezing temperatures. Nah, yeah, to an extent. We all know that most ghosts are known to inhabit cold, dark environments. No, they make it cold and dark. However, some ghosts prefer temperatures colder than a grave digger's shovel. That can be pretty warm depending on where it's placed. To detect this, you can observe the air around you. Chances are, if you see your breath, it's probably freezing. Or at least below body temperature. Don't make sure... Don't mistake this for smoke. This can concentrate evidence that you need to write down. Okay. There are some ghosts out there have a strange affinity for leaving their mark on things. Most commonly, these can be left on light switches and doors. You'll need to use a special UV light to detect these marks. I'm holding one now. Seeing these will help you identify the type of ghost and put, you, put it in your journal. Right. Some ghosts are known to be prone to doodling. Hell, some of them are even as good as Picasso. Probably because one of them is Picasso. If you give these ghosts the necessary tools, they can draw different pictures for you. If some ghost paints you a picture, please note that this is a very special behaviour and needs to be recorded. Okay. ESG. Some ghosts are sensitive to electrostatic generators. Device. Due to the, the amount of energy it takes for them to manifest, they'll show themselves very briefly, likely in a suspended state above the device. Okay. If you see such behaviour, write it down immediately. <laughs> oh, for goodness sake. Ectoglass. In Asia, a special glass was obtained by producing stones, by processing stones extracted from a quarry hidden in their hidden by their government oh this is ridiculous don't ask us how we got our hands on it it's that's classified so we got a magnifying glass and we're pretending it's special okay we Asian. well I mean, it's Stephen Heath. <laughs> the off-brand shop okay yeah Stephen he's off-brand shop that makes sense we know that some ghosts leave stains where they dwell Thanks to this glass, we can detect and track the traces left by them. These marks are usually found on walls. Without this tool, they're impossible to see. If you come across these ectoplasmic stains, write it down. Okay. Optional objects. Well, we'll read through those another time, maybe. Introduction. Ghosts are relentless spirits born of tragic, traumatic, or vengeful events. Not necessarily. Some don't even know they're dead. We do not know how long they have been around, but we are sure that they walk among us. Yep. If It has been said that if they haunt places for a very long period of time, they are known to play with the minds of the living. Some of these entities simply want to pass on, while some of them are far more insidious and malicious. We've tasked these dealing with the latter. We are tasked with dealing with the latter, so we're tasked with dealing with the scary ones. Okay. This metaphysical intelligence, our main task, is to locate the evidence these ghosts leave behind and com compile it together in order to successfully exercise them. That's what mediums are for. However, this is not my e this is not an easy task. It's very dangerous, so you must be careful. There are many types of ghosts that come that we've come to know about so far. All of them have their own unique characteristics. Without knowing what kind of ghost you are dealing with, your chances of survival are extremely low. This guide contains the information you have gathered so far. Please remember that they are not friendly beings. We do not want you to become another casualty. Get in the car and leave as soon as you are done. 
Okay. So, do I get in the car now, or...? Wow! Ghost types. Eyeballs. Deegan. Angus. Shade. That's shades I've dealt with. Oni! Oni are not ghosts! Good grief! Right. Where are you, man? Revenants. Yep. Poltergeists. Yep. Did you... Jin aren't ghosts. Huntu. Also known as a haunt. Wraith. Yep. Mailing. No. That's actually a dark fae. Gyo. No. Demon. Yes. Yokai. Yes. Only no. Yokai. Yes. Only no. Yokai. Yes. Gol. Boogie. Boogie. Really? And Yoi, which is, yeah, to an extent, yeah, it's a human ghost, so yeah, it would be. Um, let's see. Albus, known to be a type of ghost that can sense and see where its prey is, Th even from a distance. If you are close enough to get to an abyssal, abyssal you can hear it use words that other ghosts won't. Fun. Strength. If it detects, decides to hunt, it may be impossible to escape, as it's no, as it knows your location. Weakness. It moves more slowly if it's close to its target. Really? What kind of hunter moves close? Really? Okay. Evidence. Spirit box. It's all canvas. And ECG ghost reaction. Okay. That's so, our uh, Diagon. Or Degen. Diogen. They are known to have an interest in anything other than its prey in its sights. Okay. Strengths. They will be much more aggressive when hunting their chosen target. Weakness. Less aggressive if its prey is not nearby. What? <laughs> So apparently they're, they're known to have no interest in anything other than their prey. Okay. Evidence, ectoplasm stains, fingerprints, ECG ghost reaction. Agash. Agash is a ghost that feeds on cold environments. If an agash decides to haunt, it can see, you can see its breath. Interesting. Strengths. It moves far faster in cold environments. Weakness. It moves more slowly down in warmer environments. It may slow down in warmer environments. Evidence, ectoplasm, freezing temperatures, fingerprints. Shades. Shades are known as a ghost of are uh, hypersensitive to light. Yeah, well, it kind of says it in the name there. Uh, shadow elementals. They dislike being in brightly lit environments and Maybe. always yeah, and always prefers the lights to be off again. I mean, it, that's that's basically saying the same thing in three different ways. A shade is known as the ghost that's hypersensitive to light. Yep. So we're saying it's a ghost that doesn't like light. They dislike being in brightly lit environments. So we're saying again, doesn't like to be in light and always prefers the lights to be off. Again, saying it doesn't like to be in light. It says it in the name shade. Strengths. They are most aggressive in the dark. Duh. Weakness, brightly lit environment and will weaken the shade. Again, self-explanatory. Evidence, ectoplasm stains. No, actually. Spirit box response. Yes. Essential canvas. No. These are wrong. Okay, so shades actually like to play with candles. They like to turn them off by causing them to get blown out. Any light source will be generally attacked. They will drain the battery. So we should be having something that drains power here. So, you know, causes your cameras or your um, lights to lose their battery power. That, that should be a thing. Causes candles to go out should be a thing. Ectoplasm stains? No, because they're shadow entities. They don't actually have any reason to make an ectoplasm stain. They do, however, leave fingerprints or handprints or poor prints. 
really warped shaped ones and you quite often catch them on cameras as shadows so whoever wrote this please take note of that <sighs> on rio unlike other ghosts on rio are known to be jealous ghosts. uh yeah yeah they can choose one person to fall in love with them and attack everyone else this is known as a succubus or an incubus strengths they will be much more aggressive if there are others with their chosen one weakness they will not harm the person they fall in love with again incubus succubus only let's, let's see what terrible thing you've come up with for the gods of japan one of the spe special abilities that can quickly reduce the sanity of those cho it, close to it. It is a very dangerous ghost. If it wants to, it can quickly play with your sanity and decide to kill you. Strengths. It is known to be very fast. Weakness. We don't have any data. Well, of course not. It's an Omni. A Thane. Thane is known as a ghost who can distort the concept of time. Hmm. To an extent, I guess. As the Thane ages quickly, it is impossible to know their exact age. Strengths. The Thane has known to be much more aggressive and fast when they are young. Uh, I think that goes for all of us. Weakness. The Thane will become, move much slower and less aggressive if they are older. Ah, okay. Raiju. Raiju is a ghost known to draw strength from solitude. Being alone may mean that you are e easier prey for him. They interact less when in a group. Strengths. Lonely targets are very good prey for them. Weakness. Travelling in packs will make a raiju less, more passive. No, it's more likely to make them hick you off one at a time from the back of the group. Mare. Mare is a type of ghost that likes to talk. Oh dear lord. Right, I think the other term for this is actually poltergeist. Though it has been observed to be less active than other ghosts. Strengths, difficult to detect. Weakness, if there is someone nearby, it will want to hunt. It will not want to hunt. So, we have to talk, walk around in packs with a spirit box for this one then, so it can talk. Namah. Strength, we don't have data. Weakness, we don't have... Uh, really? You don't have data for an archdemon, I'm pretty sure about four holy books have that one <laughs> Abaddon really another archdemon and you don't have it really right Abaddon is widely regarded as the most cunning type of ghost no it's a demon it will not hunt its prey if they are defending themselves but will usually hunt the defenseless <sighs> strength Selects target that cannot defend themselves very deadly. Weakness has a strong chance to ignore the, a daring hunt when hunt, holding a crucifix. It's a bad one. Enough said. Jaipo. Strengths. What really? Right. Revenant. Revenants are known to be very dangerous, unpredictable ghosts. Regardless of your sanity, it can hunt you down if it feels like it. Uh, Revenants are vengeful spirits, actually. It's, it's kind of in the name. It's a spirit come back from the dead to get revenge on its enemy and anyone linked to its enemy. It generally doesn't go for anyone that isn't of its enemy. Unless it's lost its, its focus or target. Strengths. They are very unstable ghosts. Are very unpredictable they're not unpredictable at all weakness if they decide to stay calm they may make it easier for you to find them eh poltergeist a 
mean, I, this literally translates as noisy ghost. Poltergeists are known as a ghost that like to play with their environment. They can throw objects and lower your sanity. Strengths. They can throw many things at once and can quickly lower your sanity. They can also distort time. Weakness. They will calm down when there is nothing left to throw. You mean when there's nothing left to do? I mean, they're like the ADHD of ghosts. Jin. Jin are known to be more active than other ghosts. It has been observed that it's more active if someone is nearby. These are like horoscopes. Vaguely unhelpful. Strength. Because it is very active ghost. It is prone to hunting. What? Okay. Weakness. Because it is a very active, it is relatively itself. It reveals itself quickly. Okay, yeah. So EMF level five, freezing temperatures, ECG ghost reaction. So, okay. Huntu. Huntu are known a ghost that plays with people's minds throughout their speech. Yeah, okay, I'm probably being affected by one all my life then. Words don't like to come off my tongue. If you somehow manage to talk to it, it will play with your sanity, making you more vulnerable. <laughs> so it's a politician then. <laughs> and we're not going there. We're not naming names. Okay. Strengths. Talking to you makes it easier for it to... You to okay. Weakness. If it causes you... Curses you by talking to you... It can remove the curse with... You can remove the curse with sanity pills. Really? I don't even have sanity pills right now. Evan, spirit box response, freezing temperatures, essential canvas. I'm, I'm willing to bet they're going to throw a hunt. So we, we just could call this ghost politician. Wraith. Seriously? The most common ghost and we don't have any data. Wraith. Strength. We don't have any data. Weakness. We don't have any data. Really? Mailing. We still haven't figured out how mailings is related to fire. Uh, it's because it's a fire spirit. But it is known to have an affinity for it. If you have observed that it is calmer in environments with fire nearby. Strengths. That I if there is no fire around it, it will be aggressive. Oh, it's because it's a fire spirit without a home. Weakness. If there is a fire around it, it will put it out fast before hunting. Okay. Gyro. Or Goro. Goyo. Go. I'll pronounce this properly in a minute. Goyo. Alright. Does not interact with ESG if someone is nearby. Since it is a very rare type of ghost, we don't have much information about it that either. Right. Strengths. Koyo, it does not interact with ECG if someone is nearby. Weakness, we don't have any data. I'm starting to think that horoscopes are more helpful. Demon, demon are known... Demon? Demons are known as a normally calm, collected ghost. No, the demons. Can we, we please put this into their own category? Demons are demons, ghosts are ghosts, spirits are spirits. They have a lower prey drive than other... T nope. No. Wrong. They have the higher of the prey drives than other types of ghosts. But if you manage to anger a demon, it will not stop until it kills you. Not necessarily. They, a lot of them love to watch you suffer. Strengths. If it decides to kill someone, it will be very hard to stop it. Maybe they need to run away and get in a car. Just saying. Weakness. As long as you don't make him angry, the demon will usually won't hunt you. So, if there's a demon in this house, I just have to be nice to it. Okay. Bye. Yokai, which also means demon, by the way. You're saying you don't have any data. So, if you've got a demon, and you've got a yokai. Yokai are the same as demon. Literally translates to monster slash demon. Goal. You spelt this wrong. It's G U A L. Gull no, is known as a ghost who listens to the conversations between people. Okay. 
It can get angry if you swear. It sounds like it might be grandma as a ghost. So, likes to listen to conversations between people. The words you choose are important to it. Strength. It can get angry and haunt you if you are if you swear. Weakness. It will be calmer if you don't talk too much. So, if we're hunting a gull, we can't hunt any of the other ghosts because we don't want to upset and offend the gull. Can we call it a snowflake, please? <laughs> Boogie. Strength. What? Oh my goodness. Are you going Stephen <laughs> He here at the moment? Because <laughs> that's the way you are. <sighs> okay. Okay. What the hell? Okay. Well, Strengths. A... We have no data. Weakness. We have no data, but we do know that it it's level e 5 EMF. It, it deals with spirit boxes and ECG reaction, but we have no data on the boogeyman. Oh. The thing that children talk about. Oh my god. So it's not a ghost that likes going to dance parties then? Who knows? We have no data. Right, Yue. Yue is a ghost that prefers feeding small amounts of energy. Yue. Uh. No. Off multiple people at once so that it can grow stronger without being noticed immediately. Um. Okay. Okay. So we're calling Yue a ghost, which is already wrong. It's probably more closely related to fairies and Tengu. Strength. You are more likely to be hunted when traveling in groups. Great. Weakness. It may weaken itself if alone. Okay. Okay. I see how this is going to be. Evidence. So, you wait. Right, so that that's how we, we give our evidence, is it? That's my objectives. Okay. So how's my sanity held up while I've been talking? Oh, oh wow, wow. We need to find a light and stand under it. Now, given the things it's given me to play with, I suspect I know what type of ghost I'm likely to have to encounter in here. I need that. I need that. I'm going to need that. I didn't want to talk. So in the time I've been away... Have they interacted with anything? Bug is quiet, that's never a good sign. No. Not seeing any fingerprints. I mean, we've got all the potential things for a poltergeist in here. I mean, look at the things it can throw. But, you know, even though it says abandoned house, makes you wonder why it was abandoned.
normally we'd like to know the history of a place when we go in to see why it's haunted. That kind of helps identify the ghost. I have a very hairy arm for a, for a lady, don't I? Even a hairy hand. Okay, so apparently I'm a guy. I'm actually going to quit the game for now because, uh, frankly, in my opinion at the moment, the game is a bit awkward. There's there's no real clear-cut things on, on how to use items, um, so it could use some improvement on things. I do think the people that have written it do actually need to research the ghosts and spirits and entities to which they're claiming to be hunting um, because yokai and demon are essentially the same thing. Uh, Oni are a spirit, not a ghost. Uh, technically a deity uh, and some of them on there it's calling them ghosts they're not ghosts they're spirits uh, and you've got a couple of arch demons in there and you're saying you have no data for people that are very biblically based from what i can see in here with all the biblical superstitions you kind of do have the data the data is kind of in your holy bot book and the jinn or jinn um not read much of the Quran, but I think they're classed as spirits as well, rather than ghosts. Maybe fallen angels. I'm not entirely sure. If someone you know out there follows the Quran, please correct me on that. Um, be nice to understand that a bit better. So yeah, um, you know, if you're going to make a game about ghost hunting, at least understand the ghosts and spirits and entities that are dealt with by actual paranormal investigators and exorcists and so on and the you know, the abbreviate the other name for exorcists in the varying different faith groups it's a case of you know do your research because when you do come across someone that does actually do paranormal investigation and we we see this info it's like yeah okay we get the game is supposed to be for entertainment value but you know accurate information on these kind of things if, if anyone's using this as say as a training thing to get over the adrenaline high of ghost hunting as that is sadly what a lot of people have turned ghost hunting into is a gen adrenaline filled jump scares for tv shows um i can assure you nine times out of ten paranormal investigation is about as interesting as watching paint dry five times over so yeah um, it's not as jump scary and things don't happen in the violent manner in which you see on TV programs all that often. It's actually quite rare. It's like one in one million ghost investigations ends like that. Um, and usually because somebody hasn't followed proper safety protocol and they've caused the problem in the first place. Not from the ghost, but because of just, you know, events like you trip over a stone at the top of the mountain. It turns into an avalanche by the bottom. That kind of job. Uh, so nine times out of ten stuff attributed to ghosts is actually people not watching where they've put their feet uh, so yeah I mean I'm going to come back to this game um, but my, my review of it at the moment is that it's awkward it's very awkward to play as a demo there's, there's very little how to here that I think that actually needs to be a proper um, tutorial on how to use your items it, it, it says a spirit box use your spirit box what do I do it throw it on the ground and wait uh, press a button and talk into it um, press different buttons to talk to, to ask questions do I speak over the microphone it would be helpful to have proper in, clear information not information that's as vague as a horoscope maybe worse than less than vague as a horoscope um, so yeah that, that's that's my take on that so far Okay, so I'll see you on the next vid. Uh, stay safe out there, people. Have fun.